on today's episode. <laughs> hmm. What exactly did you think of? Why would the door lead us here? Go on, try it out. Come on, come on. Psst, over here, quietly. Good job, I ring. Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Today we are going to hang out with some more magical beasts. So let's not keep them waiting, right? Let's start the episode. Deke! Ah! Deke is so happy to see you! And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. <laughs> Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. Oh, that's I have how been thinking about them. something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Okay, Deke, show me. <laughs> Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Okay, let's go right now. Let's not keep our viewers waiting. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. <laughs> knapsack. Deke loves an outing. <laughs> the one who wrote the scenario sure must be some comedian or something, because elf named Deke with a uh, knapsack. <laughs> I mean, seriously. poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Well, it was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Oh, so if you see this icon on the minimap with a ball or something like that, Deke enjoys you coming can collect here to them watch there. the beasts, especially the puffle of puff schemes nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff scheme, and in it'll go. All right. Okay, I have a knapsack. How do I use it? Okay, knapsack ready. Come on, you fluffy things. Come to me. Ooh, eggs. Give me those eggs. Why are you running? I want to pet you. Come on, you fluffy stuff. You're not faster than me. Hey. <laughs> and we got one. I'll take two. They don't like to be alone. I managed to rescue a puff skin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernal, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Poachers are not a problem. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. Don't you worry about it. Oh, it's quite a, a long journey. Let's go. Here we go. 
Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers that was fast, in the wasn't area. It? Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a Jobanal. Good luck. Okay. Deke will be waiting. Use Levioso on thing that's already flying. Mm, fine, I guess. Levioso. Oh my god, is that a parrot? Or something? They look amazing. Everything's alright now. Okay, we need to take two at least. Come on. We got two of them because every parrot needs a friend. I rescued a Jobanol. Deke hopes your Jobanol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Okay. Not too far. Let's go. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, mm. unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Okay. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. And there we go. It's a night time. And the moon calf has moon calf. Moon calves are there. So I should be sneaky sneaky or something? Or should I just go straight to them? Mm, come on. Come on, moon calf. Do cooperate, won't you? They don't like to cooperate, that's for sure. Um, let's use invisibility charm, maybe it will help us. Let's see. Sneaky, sneaky. Come on, moon calf. Okay, I got one. I was lucky. Being sneaky doesn't help us. Let's get another one. Two of each, right? So they have friends, I guess. I will Levioso. use Levioso. And then I'll get him. Just like that. Easy. I'll look after you. We are making our little private zoo. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke yes, will meet you back that. in the room whenever you're ready. Don't worry, Deke, I'm right behind you. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. Okay, let's do it. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't huh. do at all. Of course it wouldn't. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Of course it's the room of requirements, so... Focus, Barry! 
<laughs> what exactly did you think of? Okay. Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Jeek <laughs> isn't sure. Only one way to find out. What is it, Perry? I don't know. You thought of it, so. Meet you inside when you're ready. Come on. And there it is. Look at this. It's amazing. Well said, Where Dick. Are we, Dick? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Okay, how do I do that? Manage beasts? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I need to open the beast inventory. And do what? Oh, I just need to add them. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow, that bird sure is pretty. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, mm. such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Okay. Can I put more of my beasts in here? Active beast species. Yes, I can. All of them. Now you have friends. <laughs> Interact. Return to the wild, rename, summon. Oh, nice. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good scratch? And just collect it. Nice. And you. Okay, you can eat. Where are my birds? Here, buddy. From birds I get feathers, right? Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> My own mini zoo. That's nice. You want some food? Oh. My mistake. I'm not going to hurt you. Just release it back. Where it is? There you are. Okay, I give you something to eat. And you want some petting? I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making oh. your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? 
Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Okay, I need to come inside and make that happen. Wow, that was <laughs> weird translation. <laughs> uh, floating candles. I just remember of that map from the side quest with floating candles. I guess I can put loom over here. Should show Deke. Yeah, Dick, come and see. Come and see how good of a tailor I am. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into what my clothing? What is that filter? <laughs> you will by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you for your help, Deke. I guess we are going to do some upgrades. Okay, okay, calm down with the talents and everything. Uh, what I was saying. Yes, we are going to do some upgrades, but off the camera. Hello, my beautiful beasts. Such a shame I cannot keep you all inside of here, but you can stay for now. <laughs> Look at him jump around with no legs. <laughs> also, I can collect another resources from here. Nice. Let's go back inside and uh, let's see what's our other quest. I guess we need to meet Sebastian now, far away from the castle. As you can see, we are just like on almost at the bottom of the map. Not entirely, but almost. So let's go. Yo, Seb, what are you doing up there? Come on, man. Oh, you're just admiring the view, aren't you? Let me see. Oh, okay, yeah, it looks, it looks quite pretty, to be honest with you. Abandoned castle. We will explore it sometimes, but not now. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly <laughs> with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. True. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Okay, okay, so come on, lead the way. Lead the way, buddy. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. Yeah, it seems kind Here of like a ghost. My sister should be just inside. Neighborhood. Okay. I'm excited to see what is this all about. Aha! Sebastian, where did you? Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. Come on, man, it was just a gift. Everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it! <laughs> the idiot's <laughs> fighting. I'm sorry! <laughs> Uh, 
That attitude, it makes me sick as well. I mean, I'm seriously? sorry to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Not the visit anybody hoped for. That boy will fray my last nerve. Okay, let's talk. Man to man. Come on. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He doesn't. He thinks he can help Anne. But nothing he probably can be does. Done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves anytime soon. Well, we may the hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalist's way. Oh, shut up. With all due respect, I don't sir, understand. hope could keep Anne's <clears throat> spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. You don't if you know really nothing, old man. Help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. <laughs> I hope you remember what I've said. Good but day. Ah, uh, good day to you. I'm going to speak with Dan alone. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. I adored teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. No. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I wish you just. I we're gonna to find this cure for you. We will find it cure. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is kind Why of a sad part of me? the game, I right? seriously. Sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. <laughs> He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son. As if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. That's the spirit, Seb. Come Grandma's on. Grandma's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Come on, Seb, move. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Hmm. I wonder what. Maybe we can use 
with that stuff they're digging. Up there, on that plateau, mm. is where they cursed Anne. This way. Okay, Sebastian, hurry up. I don't have all day. How much longer are we expected to dig through this uh -oh. rubble? That rock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. What are you doing behind my back? Go away, shoo, little goblin. Wow, fireworks. And you got the axe. Okay, take the barrel and you as well. I didn't react some time, but never mind. Take the axe. Goodbye. More of you? Oh wow, okay. Sebastian killed him. Or did he? He didn't. <laughs> nice camo. your last mistake. Oh again. How do I break purple shield? More of them. Come on. They're a lot higher level than I am for some reason. Did you said something? Wow, easy there, boy, easy. How many of you are here? Come on! I can it's enough. That was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Yeah, Barry, that was a little bit more. Hmm. Let me fix that. Repair one. Nice. Was there Sebastian who found something? Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. <laughs> a blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Yeah. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here. 
and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Oh, we shall. They we seem shall to have set up camp way. here for a specific reason. They have stations for Incendio. Everything. Oops, wrong button. Rebellion. Hmm, something over here. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Okay, what's inside here? Hmm, some kind of uh, weapons. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Rebellion. Yeah. And a pickaxe. Maybe we can repair this and go down. I've heard the goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. No, I hope we will go down the mine and explore. That will be better. But let's see, let's look inside of the house. Or what's left of it. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? No. Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Hmm. How do I get inside there? Revelio. Can I just jump over it? <laughs> interesting, interesting. Maybe we can do something about it. Quite a while to figure it out. Rebellion. How do we get inside? From around here, maybe? This well looks familiar. Can you go down? No. It does look Sebastian, familiar. I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. I also forgot where we've seen this. Did we see this? Okay, well, let's find out. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? Oh, right, right, I found right. a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. <laughs> I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the Vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And exactly. now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If That's I didn't right. know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Okay. Someone piled this here for a reason. 
Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Akio. Hmm. With Akio, I cannot move it. Let me try a different spell. Depulsor. Yes. Huh. A stairwell. Foggy stairwell. Sebastian, are you coming? Oh. What is this? Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've that's, all of this simply that's disgusting. About. Tells me they're after something bigger. There's a journal. In my second week in the camp, more arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for them. The grief is pal palpable? palpable. I don't know what that means, that word. Sorry. <laughs> the ones who have arrived at the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man much like my father who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I, long I longed to give him some share of relief. I'm begging to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid, to rid them of their torment. To rid of their torment. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Uh, we have a second page. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My initial struggle is overwhelming. It's as tough as the magic wants to heal, and I'm one per perverting it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? Possibly. I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of headache. I saw a man leaving camp today, the one who so remi reminded me of my father. Surely it would hurt to help him. Hm. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to help him, that's for sure. I could further my if Further my research, of course, but that would be a fortunate consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's mm. travels. It's kind of hard for me to read this font, magical font or whatever you want to call it. But there's must Rebellion. be something more in here and these things are like creeping me out why, why are they moving jeez Burn. come on burn burn away no 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 they're coming back what the hell um maybe i can even move this Okay. Yes, I definitely can move this. Huh. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Wow. Um. Rebellion. Can we go inside? No. There's a statue of some kind here, but I don't Rebellion. know what I can do with it. Oh, I need to speak to him. Okay. I know it sounds strange, but honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I 
don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't <laughs> that. <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. What does that even mean? I'm not entirely it sure. It's really, 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 really old magic, magic Sebastian. should only be wielded by a select few. Come and on. you can wield it. I don't know. But Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> oh, I can. I can. I don't know about you. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we come. Come on, Seb, old pal. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Let's go. Why would the door lead us here? Yeah, I'm wondering that myself. Look. That's new. What is it, Barry? The missing painting. The, the part of some map. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Hmm. What could this be? It has ancient magic sign over here. But what could it be? I guess we'll find out. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? Ooh. You did not. Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. <laughs> but I'm glad you told I me believe that you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Okay. Bye, Sebastian. Before we continue our quest of searching for Asian magic and possibly a cure for the sister's curse we need to attend astronomy class because you know we are in school so we'll have classes and we need to go oh, to nice classes to see you, my young friend nice to see you too lady okay let's go to the class your reading is the dragon that's exciting I suppose perhaps you're due for an adventure oh here we are ladies professor Shah astronomy is not divination you won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Oh, it's called on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. 
you can share with Mr. Takar. Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Mr. Takar seems like a good guy. Maybe you way too of a good guy. Okay, I need to move my mouse, I guess. Oh, nothing happens. Okay, we see some dots. Is that good enough, teacher? Now I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. <laughs> Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <laughs> Dismiss. They were freezing. Well, I can't expect it more from this class. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Sure. That's very kind of you. I don't want to buy one. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's no. only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a yada, fine yada, instrument yada. is just collecting dust. Well, I, I, thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Hmm. Maybe this class will be interesting after all. Okay, let's go down. But let's go up. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, over here is, is the storage. Hmm. Incendio. Come on, dragon, spit it out. This was his old telescope. <laughs> looks practically. <sighs> a pristine night for stars. Well, it looks brand new because he's a geek and he took good, good care of it. The perfect know? night for. Wow. Hello again. Hey, Mr. Owl or Mrs. Owl. That's a pretty, pretty thing. She's freezing as well. Come well, on, you are a snow owl, for, for God's sake. <laughs> Seriously. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third rate lunar scope. <laughs> but there is um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? No. Nope. It just so happens <laughs> I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Um, and what should we do with them? Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything but are you in no yeah, one from yeah, the sure. godstones club will go with me said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than well <laughs> they are cowards let us get moving while the stars are still out i'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there i promise okay no need to convince me let's get going brilliant you won't regret it shall come we on. come on hurry up I don't see anything scary around these parts. Oh, the or table maybe is not on yet. a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards oh. we go. Some say the locations of the tables Lumos. were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. 
Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. Yeah, that's true. It's but not come on, that hurry up. creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? <laughs> if you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. Hmm. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as uh, tidy Rebellion. as I expected. This person, this best stuff has been kept behind the lock and the key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor, a rumor has it that the tub was in haunted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to, to care much for personal hygiene. <laughs> Spooky tub. Hey, if you don't wanna waste yourself, the tub is gonna come for you. <laughs> really. Um. Incendio. Sure. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Look, uh, there's a table. Not this close to school. I mean. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. Come on, come on. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Near the center of my view, so if I do this, point telescope, uh huh. So as soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Okay, seems easy enough. Yeah, Lira. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. <laughs> Whatever you say, Amit. Whatever you say. <laughs> exactly my thoughts. Oh, you wait. You are going to be quoted saying just that. This is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest. All beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's oh, quite thank generous. You. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's Good all in the you. throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, like, and how you yeah, pronounce like your I arms. care about anything. I am Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Well, I hope you found it interesting. Let me know down in the comments below if that was of any interest to you, because for me it was like, meh, you know, this meh. <laughs> I need to look for constellations. Come on. Now, if I found some more, I'll probably take a look okay up to our next task which is let me check and for our next quest we need to learn Langardium Leviosa before that we cannot access the quest as you can see down below we have like a lock on it so let's go learn that first and we'll be right back on the main story okay guys we are in front of the shop of uh, Dogweed and Death Cat we need to buy a mandrake and a venomous tentaquella. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. <laughs> yeah, this place is quite amazing, isn't Such it? Such a wee bear and a thrash mm. into a troll. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Sounds Dogweed cool. and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> 
Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear up. <laughs> Someone died here. Aye. Fortunately, oh, aye. that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. Yeah, I want to buy something what do you from have you. For sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Thank Doors you, Madam open. Green. You be sure to stop by soon. Okay, bye bye for now. This is almost too easy. I shall get that goblin help back. Simon to finish. You're the middle. Okay, let's learn Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> With this pretty teacher. I would attend this class. How wonderful to see you again. Nice to see you too, teacher. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Oh, Pleased Professor, to sorry. Hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. Oh, I shall. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Psst, over here, quietly. I'm already here. I'm glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And one other thing. Harlow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? <laughs> no, they didn't. Rookwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? Professor Fig told me to keep things quiet, but I know I can trust you, Natty. Rookwood and Harlow want something Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Grimgotts? Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... what does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces oh, she's of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know it's a lot to take in. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. And we can help to take them down for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Halo here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Okay, let's go. You. I'll help you find the letter. Uganda forever. To hear it. <laughs> First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Halo is here after all. Okay, sure, Natty, sure. I've always said the travel. Shh, shh, shh. Shut up. We are, we are sneaking here. <gasps> Shut up. Um, I possibly cannot fly in here. No, I cannot. This is my way in. I think so. It looks like it. 
I like Sebastian better. He was like, oh, wow. What the hell? And that he was like, eh, I don't know about that. Hmm. I wonder what that does. Um, I am pretty sure I know what that does. That did it. Hmm. Collect. Now we need to use our new spell. Come on, come with me. Come, come here. There. That's fine. Mm, that's not fine. I need more of them. Probably. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I got it. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. That easy. Why not you just follow me here? Seems like simpler, easier. Okay. Hmm. I cannot use my magic spells around here. Cannot cast anything uh, from other side. Dead end. Yeah. Must be another way. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Quiet as a mouse. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Mm, sure. <laughs> oh, yes, I see. Move out of the way, box. And. Yeah, now it can go down and stay up. <laughs> Finally. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Oh, you are going to do something useful for a change? <laughs> the way she said it. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Yeah, restrain the pain! Hi Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Yes, I do. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Come on, Barry, run. Blast it! There's gotta be another way to get up to the roof. Yeah, Somewhere. there is another way to the roof, but Barry, you could just run faster, you know? I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Jeez. <coughs> mm. Okay. What do I need to do? Okay, can I go through there? No? Seriously? Here? Nothing? Oh, down there. Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> um. Come on, come on, boss. Come with me. And stay there. Go up. Not the safest place to sneak into. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, let's switch repair of it in visibility charm. And I'm gonna. Tanyu! 
Bye. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. Some gold for us. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, some more enemies ahead. So we will keep our head down. That's one. Ha ha! Time to teach someone a lesson. Shut up. Easy picking. Easy, very easy pickings. Let's go inside. Hello, Hamora. Grisman mm. gloves. That one I like. Come on, Barry. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. Yeah, she sure does. She went through the door, not like you. Stupid. Oh, level too low. I'm not getting inside there. There are no more enemies. Why am I sneaking in the first place? Come on. Is there anything up here? Oh, I guess not. I guess there is. You're going home in a wooden box. Expelliarmus. Coward. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. No, no, no. <laughs> First, I please you, then I set you on fire, and you are there. Is that all? Any more of you, idiots? One? Oh, okay. Hello, Hamora. Hi, Wing. It's all right. Shh. There we go. Oh, there are two of them. Nice. <sighs> there you are. I don't know which one I like better, to be Come honest on. with you. The white one, yeah. Hello, but the other one is. It's also really cool, they are both really cool. Come on. No, 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 no. The other one is wild. Good job, I ring. Faster. High wing. Are we faster than this train? There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. So we're gonna follow it. I mean, I don't have really much control of, over the high wing. It just goes. But damn, this this is a cool scene. Right here. <laughs> Are we going down as well? I think there will be a, some I recreation of like Harry Potter movie Gata. here. Let's find out. Yeah, you're right, Natty. It's incredible, isn't it? Are we going to touch the water? No, this is just for stopping. Oh yeah, just touch the water. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. 
I should have done that earlier back there when it was more late, but yeah, it's still cool nevertheless. <laughs> How exciting! <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find I'm the sure letter? You did. Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwind before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwind's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. You sure did. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Can't wait. So I simply can't wait. Amazing creatures. Can we just ride it like a horse? Regular horse? <laughs> yeah, we can. Oh, Caligo. What is Caligo? Damn, Caligo looks badass. I have heard hiring. of a wizard who is being harassed by Harlow. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Harlow down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I will. I will, Nathan. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Looking forward to that, Professor. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. Okay. A lot of excitement is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to be beaten? She will bite you. Come on, bite him. Bite him. Or oh, maybe I want to eat a sheep. <laughs> Who knows? Anyways. Uh, that would be the end for our episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Because it was like really, really fun. One of the better episodes I did. And let me, do let me know down in the comments below. What did you enjoy the most out of this? I think we did requests today. Probably the high wing right <laughs> anyways if you like the episode give it a like consider subscribing if you didn't like the episode you know what to do and i'll see you in the next one bye